Hello everybody, welcome to the Hintonburg Public House Craft Beer Club uh, July edition. I've got Daniel joining me today. Uh, my name is Summer, I'm the owner of the Public House. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be trying out some fun, fun beers from across Ontario. Um, so we're going to start with a beer from Still, Still Fields Brewery in Meadford. Um, I love the packaging, you know how I like the bottles. And uh, yeah, this um, so every so many people have been telling me to try Stillfields, and uh, so today we today we are. Beautiful um, bottle, beautiful yeah. artwork. Yeah, so they're from Meaford, um, kind of that's near Prince Edward County area. This is uh, their lager. It's four point five percent percent, and uh, yeah, let's try it out. Hmm. Mm, yeah, that's great. Um, it's a smooth, summery beer. Yeah, it's a perfect backyard beer for sure. Mm, delicious. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, nice bready notes and nice deliciousness. Is that a word? I don't know. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so it's really hot today. <laughs> And uh, this feels, this is tasting real good, I'll tell you. Yeah, real nice. Wow. It's just, there's so much flavor in, uh, in a lager. Um, it's just, yeah, love it. It has the basics. It's got the basics it's in there. Everything you'd want. It's delicious. It's good. Mm. I like it. Yeah, so they have um, a lot of really fun beers on their their website all of these like all of the, these breweries do but can you uh, order the beers from their website yep all of them you can order direct auto ottawa or uh um, directly on their website and have it delivered to your door yeah um, and these are all available at the restaurant right now while quantities last mm. um if you belong to the beer club then you've already hopefully you've already picked them up it's not we'll tell you and what it's like enjoying them but uh <laughs> yeah yeah that's super fresh i love it yeah it's nice uh, the next one is from Blood Brothers. It's in Toronto. Uh, this is their tiny IPA. It's um, their the hops in it are uh, Nelson, Savin, El Dorado, and Lotus. And this is a collaboration that they did with um, Momofuku a restaurant in Toronto. So, what is the uh, percentage on that bad boy? Uh, this one it's it's small. I think it's four percent. I think on their site it says Oof. something like. Uh, so you can actually get your chores done or something. Um, so you can still yeah. enjoy, enjoy a beer, but get but get things done, which Exciting. I like. Nice, look at the look at the color on that. Very nice. Not clear like this one. Not clear. Yeah. So again, this website was dangerous. Uh, cool. They have a lot of really cool bottles. It's a four percent IP. <clears throat> that's delicious. Mm, it smells very hoppy. It tastes like a six. Percent. Oh yeah. Not a six in. Six out of ten. No, this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely up there in the tens. Well, yeah. Up there. That's oh. nice. Yeah, super refreshing. Hmm. Um, yeah, I could get some things done with that. Jeez. I don't know how much I kept drinking them. I don't know. Well, it's only four percent, so you'd have to be really chugging them to, to yeah, make very, to make a mess. Very chuggable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, perfect for the cottage or. Or mm. you know, a day of drinking in the backyard. Delicious. Look at that. Pretty fun. I don't know if that's backwards, but it might be. In the image. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, next up is from Reinhardt uh, Brewing. They are in Toronto as well. <clears throat> yeah, it's a this is their. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's only four percent, so you can. It's only four <laughs> percent. Um, this is their From Beyond um, IPA. They've uh, apparently just added it to their um, their new core lineup. Um, so I'll give you a little. I love the the image on here. It's very. Uh, I like very how this fun. one isn't over hoppy. It's hoppy, but not too hoppy. Right. Yeah. So this one. So. Um, yeah. Let's try it. Let's skip to my Lou. So, look at the color difference. Hold it up. 
kind of neat. So this one's much lighter and it's much deeper. And what is this one again? It's from Reinhardt. I've never had anything from them, um, but again, people keep saying get something from Reinhardt. So here you Reinhard? go. Reinhardt. Sorry, I keep saying Reinhardt. I'm so sorry. It's Reinhardt. I don't know why. I don't know what a rain. Rain. Anyway, I don't even know what it's I when said. When it rains hard, I guess. Rain hard. Yeah. Unless it's backwards, then it's dra near. <laughs> okay. Six percent. Mm hmm. Giddy up. So this one you might not want to do until after you're finished cleaning because you might not get anything clean. <laughs> <Your drawers. laughs> oh, I didn't pour that very well, did I? Yes, the prey chores. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I don't know. That's really interesting. Oh. I like that a lot. It's not like super hoppy. Not even. It's ho yeah. It's more fruity. It's more, yeah. Floral and fruity. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I like it a lot. It's like, it's got a bit of a, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I like it, but uh, like a barnyardy kind of flavors, like cheese. This would taste really nice with a cheese board. Oh, yeah. A cheese and a bacon board. <clears throat> bacon. <laughs> no? Is that not a thing? I don't, I don't we think you put bacon a on a and a cheese board, but... No, you, you have a bacon board separate. Oh, a separate. Oh, oh, separate. Yes, okay. yes. If it's separate, then maybe. You have to have a bacon board. Yeah, or maybe those bacon... Remember when we used to make those bacon cubes? Mm. We used to make these... We used to take slabs of bacon, mm. raise it, and then reform it into these little cubes or balls, and then bread them and deep fry them. Ooh. Getting all watery in the yeah. mouth. We need so to bring good. those back. Those are so good. I think so. I think yeah. so. I've had something similar recently. What was that? I don't know. We went for dinner somewhere. And it was like a, a dinner, but it was like a huge bacon cube. Pork something. I don't remember that. But Where was it? I don't know. Astro Pub. Oh, yes. I'm going to give a little shout Maybe. out to the Wellington Gastro Pub because they make good, good food. Mm -hmm. And that was like a. Um, pork dish. Oh, there's the sun. That's the sun just came out. Hey, the Hello. sun came out to say hi. <laughs> okay. But yeah, delicious. Oh, so good. Now I'm thinking all these. Now I want pork, pork cubes. Bacon cubes. If you make them, please feel free to send them to us. <laughs> or let us know and we'll come and visit you. Or send us a recipe. <laughs> well, we know, I know how to make it. I just don't want to make it. And there's At that. home, anyway. So I'm going to somebody to make it for me. <laughs> I didn't it's, realize we need glasses out here. Yeah. Holy it's cow. It's been a cloudy day all day until we come out and see what beer does. Brings the sunshine. <laughs> this is what it does. It's perfect. So Love what's it. this final beer? So the final beer this month is from Bench. We've tried something from Bench a I few love times. Bench. Um, I think last time was a sour that we tried as well. This is a pink. fruit sour. So it's called Tartan Juicy Fruit Sour. Um, Berry Field, sorry, Berry Fields Tart and Juicy Fruit Sour, and it is uh, Ruby Raspberry Red Currant is the... It's a tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm. I can smell that from here. That smells delicious. Yeah. It's a sour. Mm. We all know how much I love sours. This one was really good. Oh my I gosh. love me the sours. You do. You love them now. So... Bench is from Beamsville, Beamsville um, in uh, like near Niagara. Fly lights it. And then go away. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so fruity and bright and it's one of those beers like, um, one, of those, one of those beers that when you've been drinking all day, and you just need a break from beer. This is what I would go to. One of these, a, just to just to break up the beer. A hidden beer, like a yeah, beer under still, the beer. Yeah, just kind of to perk up your taste buds, like a little palate cleanser. It's Five point four percent. You know, Bench does make really good beer, and I have to mm -hmm. say, they did a great job on this. It's mm -hmm. Sour. Mm -hmm. Their I'm balls balls is we always have that on our menu. Um, it's a IPA session IPA. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's the one I like. I think. Yes. You, you like that 
one. And there are too many that I don't like. No, that's true. You don't this see me true. saying, oh, this is fruity and gross. No, this is actually delicious. Yeah. But it Bench really does crush it. <sighs> Thanks, Bench. Yeah. Um, someday I'm going to get there. If they, I, Every time I go on their website to look, I always look at the pictures of the the brewery and the, the area that the, the, you can go there and hang out and have, I don't, I don't know if you can have lunch or not, but um, they have a patio, so I'm assuming there's food, but uh, there's definitely beer, <laughs> most likely wine as well, um, and yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. And you'll notice how quiet it is because I'm pretty sure everybody's gone to their cottages and they probably brought all these with them. Hmm. Yeah, it's really quiet. It's nice. It is nice. It's rare that the city's quiet on a weekend. It's relaxing. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are the beers for this month. These are damn good. I um, said damn. You can write. <laughs> you can write and tell me that that was a bad word. Apologize. But um, damn. Mhm. Mm all very, very, very good. These are all tight. I think uh, there's going to be a little bit less um, available for you to purchase. <laughs> <laughs> at the restaurant because I'm going to go and uh, buy some to take home. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe sit on our patio and enjoy one or two or five. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I think it might. Especially this. Wow. Oh, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to this because I got chores to do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, what else is going on? What else is Not going on? Not a whole on? lot's going on. We have a patio now, like I mentioned, um, out front this year. It's almost and, Canada uh, Day, if that means anything to anybody. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, what else is happening? Um, I'm pretty sure not much, because this is a great summer to just not do a whole heck of a lot. Yeah. The weather's finally turned for the better. It's been awfully not so good. Now it's, like, great. Now it's even greater. Well, right now, this morning. All of a sudden, it's got really good. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know what it's going to be. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know. Be on the lookout for some new murals I'll be painting this year. Yep. Uh, those are coming soon. One in the Glebe, one in Old Bank. And this fly, I swear to goodness. Yeah, it's dive bombing just us. Gonna, because he, he's had some of that. He had some before his oh. chores. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Even the flies like. <laughs> yeah. Darn, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that's going on. Yeah, we're trying to sort of play it low key this this uh, this summer. We're gonna have some new events that we're launching um, for September October. So keep an eye on our social for that. Dan's gonna be doing an art class. Um, hopefully, we'll be having a beer tasting or maybe a cool. wine tasting as well. Aren't you doing something in the park? Oh, in September, um, every Wednesday in Hintonburg, we have uh, at Parkdale Park a night market, and uh, the Hintonburg Public House will be showcased in the middle of September. We're, st we're still figuring out what uh, we, we get to curate the main stage, so we're excited about that. So stay tuned. Um, Fun. A little spoiler, maybe, is uh, we also have an open mic. Um, it's relaunching this month, end of July, so the last Saturday of each month, we'll be having uh, our open mics again from 3 until 5 p.m., uh, featuring the lovely Jess Cole. Um, she, she's the host, and but anyone can come in and play, so you just, just show up. You don't have to sign up in advance. You just show up, bring your guitar, whatever you, whatever you play, and uh, you can sing, sing the heart out. <laughs> yeah, unless you're a flautist, yeah. you can bring your flouts. Yeah, then you can flout your heart out. Float. Float it out. <laughs> Float it out. Float it out. Mouth harps, harmonicas, guitars. Yeah. And it doesn't uh, even really even have to be music. It can be poetry or whatever you want. It's even an open stage pipes. for anything. I would recommend bringing your bagpipes <laughs> and just letting her out. I would love that to happen some, one, at least once. I think so. Yeah. That'd be great. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, and so... Yeah, we're looking forward to the fall to having more more events happening. So if you have any ideas, please send me a note. Um, and uh, yeah, we can see if we can make it happen. But, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, 
um, we're going to get back to drinking these beers, and yeah. uh, we hope you enjoy them, and um, yeah, we hope to see you in on the patio or inside in the cool AC. All right, cheers, everybody. Take care. Take care. Bye, everyone. Happy summer. Thank you.